What is up, everybody? Welcome to the Organic Football Podcast. I'm your host, Saro. Uh, Matt, what's up, man? What's going on? Uh, I went to the preseason game. Felt good. Uh, I've now tied for the amount of wins that I saw last year. <laughs> so, went pretty well. Cardinals win, 18, win, Broncos 17. Does that still count in your heart, Matt? It counts 100%. It counts. Okay. As long as it counts with you. The excitement was feels just as real. Feeling. feeling it. Brad, what's up, man? What's up, buddy? Hey, I got a little interesting stat for you guys. You know Patrick McCombs? Patrick Mahomes could have a top 10 defense for the next 14 years and still have less than Tom Brady. Uh, Are you? I okay. He's there so long. Hang on. I read something else, but maybe I read it wrong. But I thought Mahomes is already ahead – Oh, Brady had more of an advantage, but Mahomes, Mahomes is crushing him at age twenty-seven, isn't he? Like, but not with top ten stats. No. So that means it's a it's a fancy way to say that Pat Mahomes is better than is Tom better Brady. because he hasn't yes. had it. Okay, that that's what I was reading. Like Mahomes uh, has done what he's done with with far less talent or just a, 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 a nice way to talk shit about tom brady as well yeah but you he like saying to, uh, he needs the ring set all these top to really 10 be. defenses yeah yeah, yeah. Michael i Jordan mean had Pippen, you know true and phil jackson yeah phil jackson as, as coach. Phil Jack. Jack. yeah yeah and phil Rich, yeah. What's up, man? how's it going oh what's going on I, I barged in uh i just wanted to start off by telling you guys i found two stacks Two wide receiver quarterback stacks that are like these are musts. If you can build these, you got to get them. Justin Fields, DJ Moore, Lamar Jackson, and Zay Flowers. Get them. And here I thought I was gonna you were gonna make us guess, but nah, dude, I'll tell I'm you. Gonna That's what I'm here for. Rich. What do you got for a stack? Huh? What do you got, dude? I'm pulling it up. Dude, okay. I'm gonna go with Aaron Rodgers. Dude, you Garrett read Wilson. my mind. Gary Wilson. Gary Wilson. Wilson. Yeah. I, that could be a nice cheap stack. I don't know how cheap it's going to be, but yeah, I, I do think it's going to be cheap. I, I think it's stack. that's a good that's a good stack actually. Like I'm thinking about how much I'm going to have to pay for Lamar Jackson versus Zay Flowers, um, but that does balance itself back out with Aaron Rodgers. Fields, and Fields with the Chicago but heavy. I, he's going. I mean, yeah, our team. our league. Our this is yeah. That's why I say this for our, our listeners or our viewers. It's tough for our league because of all the Chicago guys. So, so like, third I, of the league is I have Chicago to, Bears fans. I have to shift over there. And actually, DJ Moore, I think it's more of like a that's a like that's a good snake draft play. I think because people will wait on quarterbacks. People will people aren't at that high on DJ Moore right now. I'm not. You're not. I mean, that's that's half the fantasy football community right now. So, like, in that case, that's why you have to make those stand stand your ground points at, at a certain time and say, well, on this 50-50 guy, I believe it's going to go this way. And that, when you hit on those guys, you, you, you get ahead. I do have to give some clarification on that. I did auto-draft him because my computer, computer took a shit last year for $31. Oh, my God. So I, I kind of have some animosity towards him. It's not his fault. <laughs> uh, he, there's but no if one he else did, to blame but him. If he did well, though, this conversation would be a little different. He played for the he Panthers did. last year. Isn't that his problem? <laughs> yeah, poor Jesus Matt. Christ, they have Baker Maker, Mayfield throwing the ball. What's he supposed to do? The Baker. You watch Baker? Where the hell is you he? You don't think Chris Godwin's going to catch some balls? Tampa Bay. He's in Tampa. Tampa I do not Bay. think Chris Godwin is going to catch some balls. That is exactly what I think. <laughs> he will not be catching balls. Not anything like he has been the past couple of years. You know, I, I love Chris Godwin, but I don't think he's going on my roster or anywhere near my roster this year. Yeah, Chris, Mike Evans, too. They're tough. you seen those quarterbacks? Baker Mayfield and, and I think it's Kyle Trask or something like that. Oh, my God. They're terrible. Baker had his moments in the preseason game where he looked okay, but – I just but know that, that you that's can, just Baker, you can't period. That's Baker. That's Baker. Man. He looks yeah. great. You look away, you look back, you're like, uh, is that the same guy? 
on the field, yeah. you know. And there he is running directly it's, to it's the It's a consistency center. thing. He's not super consistent. And there's a lot of quarterbacks out there that aren't consistent. That's why you don't talk about James them. James Winston. Yeah, I think he's one of those guys. That's you whatever. can't get a more hot or cold guy in the world. Yeah, he's he's like I a Katy Perry that. song. Was that Katy Perry? Anyway, um, you're hot and you're cold. Katie. You're up oh, and you're, you're hot. Uh, yeah, oh, exactly. Yeah, I need somebody that? singing it. That's awesome. That's I was like, wait a second. <laughs> Thanks for that assist. I was like, please, someone, someone else, listen to Katy Perry, please. <laughs> I don't God. listen to Katy Perry. I swear you to God. Did just Come on, that's just, that's that's yeah, it. you know the song. You, know you, you hit the you tone, know the, song. the pitch. Like. It was, it was perfect. Oh shit! That, that yeah. Good. Yeah. <laughs> I did go see. I've been in a musical mood. We went and saw Ben Folds well, last night, right. so that was ben dope. Folds. Yeah, ben I only Folds, knew the one man. song. Did he play Brick? Brick. I mean, he's nice. got he's got a grip of other songs. So his it, I'm sure he does. crazy. Never... He's a good, great musician, man. He plays oh, piano. It's fucking. Yeah. Oof, no, it's early two thousands. Everyone after Ben Folds started playing piano and singing, every band. Had a piano, had a piano. Like, <laughs> and then it went away because you're like, all right, this is, this is getting saturated. Okay, <laughs> guys, let's just let him do it because exactly. he's really good. <laughs> yeah, it was a great show. Uh, speaking of events, Matt, you went to the game, correct? I did. It was a hell of a game. It was fun. Uh, right back. Saw my new seats. Um, they're a little bit better this year. Uh, was it packed? No, it wasn't packed. I wouldn't say uh, a lot of orange in the building. Um, but I mean, that's to be expected, I guess. Um, um, and it was a good, great game. Um, I was surprised they left uh, Russ Wilson out there so long. He was out there like well into the second quarter with all the starters and everything. And he held up really well. Um, Did you see how bad he played last year? Yes. Yeah. yeah. That's I think that's going to continue from what I saw. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like professional football detention. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's like, hey, guys, here's the new fucking – the new teachers there too. Sean Payton's like, hey, yeah. you got to get with a new program. He's laying down the law there. But I, I do yeah. agree that Denver might have a strong – Goal this year, like they, um, they, that was scary. I mean, I get it preseason game one, but that was there's some right. alarm bells that should be going off for Denver, right? Looking like Disagreed. that to the Cardinals. Disagree. <laughs> preseason is such a joke. You cannot take any, yeah, anything from there besides like second and third rounders and those guys that really want. But Brad, but Brad, in this game, we had our second teamers out there against their yep. first teamers, and we were lighting them up. That, that, that's what scares me for from a Denver perspective. Yeah, the first team like, was like, I'm point, fucking preseason at, game. At, I don't give a shit. At one point, but at one point, one of the announcers I was listening to basically in a nice way said Denver's uh first string looks horrible because they're up against the Cardinal second Ooh. <laughs> string. <laughs> He's basically like, Yeah, I mean come on, man. man. It wasn't a compliment to the Cardinals. It was a diss on the Cardinals and the Broncos. Yeah. Both, both yeah. in one fucking sentence. It was, that was a solid was burn. Like, Ooh, burn, burn. Yeah. And it's interesting too because I've been paying it. I'm paying a lot of attention to what's going on in Denver because I'm super interested in one particular player this year, and I, it's Javante Williams. He's going to play. It sounds like this week. Dude, and so like, that's my man. I understand, and that's possibly my man. Like I, that's that's why I when I hone in during this is what the time to get after this shit too. Is like this is preseason. You have to see what happens in these games, and re- there is stuff to be pulled from this. I need to get reports of practice this week, practice next week after coming out of the game is going to be very important to see all the medical reports as they come out. You know, um, so hopefully we get good reporting that comes out of this game. If and and but that's the other thing. I don't want to see a shit offensive line back there because one thing Javante Williams is going to need, he's going to need a little bit of that space. He needs a good line right now, so he's not having to do all the work. You know, it's not on his shoulders or legs or whatever you want to say it. But I'm definitely interested in Javante Williams. It's it's a matter of how he comes out of this stuff. It's it's a tough one with these guys though. ACLs. There's. It just has to progress. It has to progress upwards. It takes a while. So, 
Rich is absolutely right. We're all, we're all a couple of weeks out from our draft, so now is the time to really pay attention or do what a lot of people do, just Google top 10 quarterbacks, <laughs> top 10 receivers, and just, you know, trust the quote-unquote experts well, on that. If you don't have time, at least do something. Don't just go into it without even looking at those lists. Like I, I suggest, like, looking at multiple sites, though. If you're just right, going to go, right. here's what the site is, because there is – vast differences when you go from espn to a yahoo to yeah right um even nfl.com whatever sleeper they all have like their own different rankings within there so you got to kind of like average it out and and doing that process will kind of like put those names in your head so that right. you, when you go into your draft you're going you already kind of have like some preconceived notions of where they sit yeah on those lists. So it takes, you know, I, it takes I like 15 minutes to the sleepers. I like looking up sleepers every year and mm -hmm. I will lock in on five of them and then I'll mm -hmm. keep them in mind. If my starter goes down, I'll go for, or pick them up beforehand and cross my fingers, flip the coin and be like, all right, cool. I mean, I've had a few of those in the past. Yeah. I mean, I, I literally leave, we have a, a limited bench, but I leave at least one spot every year out of the draft. I have a running back Good on project. the back end of my, on the back end of my roster who I believe will eventually be a starter at some point in the year. And I already have him secured. I have that guy this year. He's the Miami guy. He chain. I love that guy. So I'm trying to get him out of my drafts. I, I like him. I'm, he's going to sit on my bench. It's going to take a while, but you know, hopefully four to six weeks in the end of the season, that's when there's enough tape that coaches go, hmm, okay, I'm starting to see something here. We need to shift. And so that's like, that's how it's taken the, the coaches and the staffs, they break it down four weeks at a time. So by the time I'm hoping that first initial burst, and then it's waiver wires, you need to be hitting the waiver wires so that you're seeing ahead of the curve when that stuff is starting to, to take place because he's, he's going to pop. That's the one thing is that guy's going to pop on film. A chain. You know, I got a little sleeper for quarterback, Trevor Lawrence. QB? I don't think he's that much of a sleeper, but yeah. He's, he's a sleeper in early. Top 10, right? Yeah. yeah. Can, people are, oh, I think I he'll think be that, top seven, if not top five. Like he's so I think most three people, East receivers. That would oh, yeah. be a good value QB right there for sure. Like pick him up for twenty five oh, yeah. bucks maybe. No, you get him for like pay less, than 20, $10. less than that. You think so, man? Yeah. that sounds really cheap. I think it'll go ten to fifteen bucks. Yeah, okay. somewhere, somewhere right, in that range in our league. Friendly, friendly bet. I'm just curious what it's gonna. I, I think twenty twenty five. You, you guys are saying ten fifteen. Yeah, I'll bet you five burritos. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Don't I owe you twenty five from last year? Yeah. Yeah, I'll eat them every all. time. Every time we go to Chipotle, <laughs> bad guys, or somebody <laughs> at the counter's like, "Oh no, it's you, Mr. Smith." Uh, uh, we can't charge you. And then we just go sit down. I've asked wow. him not to refer. That's to me happened Mr. Smith. once. I just, swear that's happened once at the Tatum right. and Cactus one. Brad gets a little upset actually when he's called Mr. Smith at the Chipotle. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to be. They they, they end sure up like reprimanded later. <laughs> yeah. I just I just want to be. Just I like call their DMs. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Don't you ever let him do that to me again. No. But, so, um, hey, since we're in quarterbacks, yeah. I just want to stick with this. Quarterbacks. We got the yeah. vibe going. Anthony Richards. Where do you guys rank him this year? He could be top five. He could be at. He could be like number twelve. Who knows? And does Jonathan Taylor play and help him out? Jonathan Taylor left camp again today. That's he, such he, he had his ankle injury. Then he came back to camp and he left camp again today for a personal reason. So, I think he's going to go full lady on Bell, dude. I think he's going to sit up. Crazy he hasn't that gotten is. paid yet. Is that what's going on? Dude, it, at least go yeah. Ricky Williams style and just smoke a bunch of weed. You know? <laughs> yeah. Like, don't just sit out and get fat, you know? Come on, Zeke. Don't, yeah. don't do Zeke. that. <laughs> I'm going to look up a photo of Zeke on the internet and see how. Well, you got to, it's got to be uh, him coming to training camp today because it's just the one piece of video. It's going to be tough to find. That's a tough search. Oh. Uh, Oh. It. <laughs> oh, it. Uh, no, I did uh, like two years ago. Anyway, see, told you. Yeah. It's um, Anthony Richardson, though, was your question. Honestly, I think he's going to be fantastic fantasy football wise. I think you're going to have some games where it's interceptions and some dumb shit happens, but I think he's going to be absolutely fucking fire for uh, fantasy football wise. I think he could, like you said, Brad, he could be top five. 
but I do think he's he's going to have a built-in floor, and I do think he needs to be drafted as a top twelve quarterback. Oh man, he's a, he's a starter, man. You see Zeke? Oh, you see yeah. my boy Zeke? Oh man, did you guys find it? <laughs> Brad did. Oh, let me see. Let's see if I, can. I was going to try to pull it up so I could. There it is. You can see that. He really yeah, send it. Send it oh, over yes. to Matt. See if he could throw it up on the screen, but. That, um, that looks like um he looks like a to touchdown to every time they get to the goal line though that's what I think it looks like <laughs> that, that looks like stack, that looks like right? a man oh dude that's right is, Stevenson just took a big dip he's gonna get all the goal line carries uh, that's that's what he's taking I think that's literally the one chunk kill like miss that's it I don't think I don't think the funny thing is I think you should flip that is that everybody's like oh Stevenson's tanked I think it actually just keeps Stevenson. Pretty even with where yeah, the mirror is. your phone. My size. So, you knew I sent out a text. What is that? Jesus Christ. I'm not it's, it's Hot Pockets done. <laughs> hot <laughs> Pocket. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Ding. Oh, man. Well, it's it's, it sounds like a microwave, too. <laughs> it's like an old school microwave from the 70s. Why Ding. are you so talking like that? I think it's your Hot Pockets done. I think we should have like a, a a pool of when the phone's on, and if your phone goes off, you got to give five bucks or some shit like that. Oh, Your no. burrito. Right. I guess we oh get no, or five bucks. But no, Jonathan Gannon did that at the uh, at the press conference that he had today. There was reporters in there. Oh yeah, I saw it. that. The phone, the phone goes off, and he goes, he goes, that's, like, that's fifteen thousand dollars. Yeah. <laughs> and then and the another one came late. in late. Yeah. <laughs> Like, I thought yeah, that that's shit was good. Grand. He's like, you mm -hmm. think I'm gonna let that slide? No way. I yeah, like, he was I a like dead him, band, by the way. Dude. Yeah, yeah. That's I, I have enjoyed what I've seen culturally out of Jonathan Gannon. And he's a good guy. I think he's a hard nosed coach. It seems like he's really smart to me. Um uh, you know what I loved out of this first game? One penalty. One yes. penalty. Let's that's go. Big. That's that's, that's really indicative that was of huge. teams being ready to play is penalties. Mm -hmm. I will I will give you that from preseason. That is a good step. There you go. That, that's what I need to see, man. Just a shift. That's a huge shift. Cliff Kingsbury was the highest rated for penalties as a team during Dude, his. He team. was a joke. So, like I mean, yeah, that should have cost. Enough time has passed. Penalties. I mean, it sucks, man. Because I do, I do honestly believe Cliff is a good offensive coordinator football coach that's what he should be he should be somebody's offensive coordinator and i think he's Did great he ever, I think he does have like some smart ideas he's gonna have to learn from the shit that didn't work while he was here though too like is, is he's, he he's a smart his, uh, guy but he's got to go through i don't know i think uh, he's I think a great he's, college coach i don't know college i don't coach. think he can adapt and, and change mm -hmm. that much during a game i didn't see that much of it so it is a different game i mean it, the, the run game is different. You need to work north and south some of the time as well. Everything is east and west with all of his action. I think some yeah, of it has to go shit. north and south. Yeah, it's college. Yeah, I mean, I guess you're right. But that's what I'm saying. I think if you're smart enough, if you're smart enough, and like I do think he is because the plays he creates are – some of them were very creative and get guys wide the fuck open. So uh, that that's something that he can bring to the table. He just has to – if it was me, I'd say, okay, well, look over my last four years. What happened here? What what was not working? What do I do, need to do more of? And if you learn from those mistakes and shift, then you can come back and do something. Like he's a smart guy. I just don't know if he's that type of smart, the, the type that would like invest that time. You know, nah. who, who knew we were going to talk? Cliff Kingsbury. Were you, but were you guys <laughs> aware? Um, I think I heard this, but uh, headed USC as a senior. Offense, offensive analyst. So that's his yeah. job now. Yeah, he's just an offensive guy. Yeah, yeah. He's not like necessarily said, that's, even that's there. Offensive corner. That's yeah. very strong. Let's throw him in there. Yeah, but yeah. he's gonna be. He's gonna be working with Caleb Williams this year. So like, that's yeah. that's kind of a good tandem right there. I like this. <laughs> Caleb Williams. I don't know, man. <laughs> I got to think about that like all year, basically. That's that's going to be in the back of my head all year about Kyler Murray and Caleb Williams. It's just this, they're, they're, people are talking about all the haul we'd get if we if we like Kyler Murray still and, and we trade out of number one, if we're in number one for Caleb Williams, someone to draft him. And it's like, really? Because everybody says he's the next Pat Mahomes. 
Right. <laughs> so shouldn't you just draft Pat Mahomes? If if someone said, hey, you could draft Pat Mahomes next year, wouldn't you go, well, yeah, I'll just draft Pat Mahomes and I'll trade Kyler Murray, right? Isn't that make it simple? It's a business mm-hmm. decision. Well, and if, if they don't do it at that point, is it just the business decision? Of yeah. Like, oh, we, did, we have to eat all this money already on Kyler Murray. We're just going to eat the money on Kyler Murray. But if they, I'm just saying, man, if he's really Pat Mahomes, and which, like, I've seen his tape, it, he looks better than Pat Mahomes looked in college. I mean, he's he's more under control. Pat Mahomes was a wild man in college, um, which, I mean, it's great. He threw the ball all over the place, but. You know, dude, he Caleb Williams is, is already a he's crazy. <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> catch up on the stakes? Yeah, that's not too <laughs> crazy. Oh, oh, it's horrible. Uh, you telling me you need to catch up on your steak? I mean, I've Matt, never done it, Matt. but it's not like it's oh, totally okay. crazy. Oh my god, Matt. <laughs> that's, no. a, that's a no, you shouldn't put anything <laughs> on a, a stick. No, no, nothing. Really don't eat yet. My wife puts HP or whatever. I just, I just leave the room. I'm like, this, okay. I can't be here. I gotta go. You can't put, put HP sauce, like uh, a one sauce or HP sauce on a steak. I've never heard it called the HP. A1? HP is a A one. HP. You haven't had HP. HP is actually better than A one. Anyway, this is not a cooking <laughs> show, but it's hard to find. <laughs> it's an you anything to, show. <laughs> but yeah, HP is is a good sauce. But you never put it. It's on like that. a. It's like a one. But it's a little better. But it is. It's basically <laughs> a a competitor. But it's a little bit. It's like Coke, Pepsi, same thing. Yeah. Okay. Like, I never one is people. better than the other. So maybe we can I'm have a taste test it. one of these days. There we go. A HP taste HP. test. We should make some steaks and bring some Live. HP. Yes. And do our, and do their uh, kick in the field goals. Oh, That's hell yeah. Saying. I'm down. <laughs> I'm down for that. And nobody bring any ketchup because I'll kick your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, my my that I'm bringing ketchup. And I missed all that. What happened? I missed all of that. I'm bummed. What the ketchup? Yeah, because my, my the, the got it. Okay. Well, no, my uh, computer started glitching out on me. Anyway, uh, I got it. Too. My bad. Right, what were what were we talking about? We're talking about quarterbacks. Talk Start with Anthony Richardson. All right, let's do these so, back. Dude, I got a backfield I want to start with. Okay, Who's yeah, coming out this backfield? James Cook, okay. Damian Harrison, Latavius Murray. I'll tell you. <laughs> James Cook. It's James Cook. Yeah, James Cook's gonna be dope. I, I think he's under the dope backfield, man. Uh yeah. I mean, I think it's one of those. It's it's gonna be a split backfield. I don't think Latavius Murray has a lot of tread left on the tires. Uh, Damian Harris's guy, I do have an affinity for. I do think he's a good running back. Um, I I think he can produce, but again, it's one of those things when I just see a a. a a jump ahead of talent. Like, okay, James Cook is this much more talented. And he's taken all the first team reps, all of camp, all of camp, all of their drives in the game against Indy uh, with the first team was him. So I think Damian Harris is going to have his role. It's going to be more that goal line back, but I think James Cook is going to be a standout player this year. I hope they focus on the run. Dude, and how is Dash third on the running back committee list? Like holy oh. shit! Sorry, that was Clyde cool. edwards Alaire. Yeah, yeah Dash. Clyde edwards Alaire. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, who's the second guy on there? That's that rookie. McKinney. Oh no, uh, McKinney. And then they have a rookie too. They don't even show that guy. Uh, yeah. I forget what his name Pacheco, is. Pacheco. Yep. So they have Pacheco, McKinnon, and <laughs> and then Dash, and then there's this rookie who's like a standout. I forget what his fucking name is right now. All right, All right. yeah. But that that one's a one I would never touch this year. If you can avoid it at all costs, don't try yeah. to get involved with. I mean, full PPR McKinnon is gonna have value. Like he could just be like that guy who's like a plug in if you have an injury. That might be like that type of guy on the back end of your roster. Uh, those guys are kind of good to have around. I like one of those guys on my bench who I just kind of trust. That's gonna get me, you know, 10, 12 points. I, I think that's that type of guy. But don't don't really count on those things. Like you're never gonna get one guy. Like Pacheco's not gonna go off and be a top twelve back. There's no way. What other backfields you got, Brad? Dude, I like honestly. I think my number one guy might be Nick Chubb. Dude, there's no competition for him. Chubb. 
You got Deshaun Watson. Dude, he's going to take attention off him. Nick Chubb can run the fucking ball. So I, I had McCaffrey on my list as number one, but I might save 10 bucks and just go get Nick Chubb. Yeah, I mean, no doubt with Kareem Hunt gone from there, I, I yeah, don't think it's that, his show, man. Yeah. Um, he was already like usually sitting three to seven. You know, there was a year that he was pretty much the number one back the entire year. So I, I like Nick Chubb, but I think he goes, he goes at the back end of like round one, almost round two, and in, in like snake draft leagues. Brad, oh yeah, Matt, are you gonna, are you gonna do that league? Yeah, you gonna do that. Are you gonna do it? Okay, cool. I got Matt. I got Matt in a, in a league that I'm in. I'm doing a different league. Oh, you're snake. in. You're in another one. Do they do snake? It's snake. gonna be a snake draft. Okay. Yeah. So I gotta get. I gotta get ready. Get a little Being more prepped for that. that. Snake. That's all I've ever done. Have, Brad, have you ever done a snake draft? I'm sure you have. <laughs> I've seen, I yeah, haven't. I have been playing this for like twenty something years. I know, but <laughs> when's the last time you did a snake draft? That's the more appropriate question. Uh, I think we were year one before we switched over. We yeah, did a snake I, draft year one. I thought we did. No, nah, we started auction from the, the get go. Then it was in my brother's league before. That's so right. I was in your brother's league before. That's right. Yeah. And then we kind of started our own, but I don't even remember a snake draft or I think I hate a snake draft here. So I'm so used to auction drafts. I don't even want yeah, to snake draft. think about it. Yeah, I'm this, not into it. It's like T9 versus the keyboard. Like T9, <laughs> the whole time you had T9, you're like, this is great. T9. And, I love it. <laughs> and then you got the keyboard and you're like, dude, I can't go back to T9. Yes, folks. You're right. Yeah, that's a that's a good analogy. I like it. <laughs> why, why don't you explain that to uh, the, uh, yeah, and, the and anyone who gets one under thirty? Oh my god, it's like a, maybe maybe we don't get a lot of those. Yeah, Google it. Don't Who's worry. T9. Yeah. Who T9. is T9? No, no, no. Yeah, <laughs> <you're German>. no. <laughs> T9. I like that. Yeah. 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 T9 alive. I guess there was the Tech 9. nine. There was Tech 9. So I don't know. Tech 9, yeah. Jo yeah Johnny remember Five? Is that what you said? Johnny Five? Johnny, Johnny Five is alive. alive. Well, yep. now you're losing anybody under the you don't have to also is 39. Alive. <laughs> I'm just freaking. John McCain. Yeah. John McCain. Oh, yeah. Don't believe lies. Don't believe lies. Don't John believe McCain's lies. No, he's, we he's still got to get. With, yeah. We gotta get out to the baseball game. I think that's where we gotta go do yeah. it. <laughs> go to the baseball game with a big old banner. <laughs> <laughs> Don't believe the lies. John McCain's alive. Man, um, we're gonna get on. We're gonna get on the news, <laughs> and then people will be like, "It's." And then it's like Brad and I have this idea too. Like we're gonna start. The, we're gonna start a this website. Is the new. This is the new flat Earth thing. Yeah, <laughs> you're gonna get. You're gonna exactly. get into a small room and interrogated. Is what's gonna happen. Okay, <laughs> look, your, man, he's alive. I know it. You know it. Yeah, yeah be like, like, show me the proof. And nothing you can say <laughs> will lead me to believe otherwise. They're all exactly. lies. I'm determined to oh, shed man. the light on the lies. Once you yeah. start connecting the pins, you're my mess. Clear. <laughs> well, we're all laughing about it, but seriously, he is alive. Um, no, he is. He's in yeah. Tupac, Arizona. 100%. With Tupac. <laughs> Tupac. Hanging out with Mr. Tupac. I can't. <laughs> I tried Mr. To Tupac. Tupac. <laughs> Tupac, yeah. Tupac. Tupac for hanging out. Tupac. That sounds like Tupac. 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 Come on. Tupac. It's the guy that's his fucking town. name. Tupac. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We know what's going on there. And John it's like McCain a mile is north of the place. border, and it's beautiful. It's a tiny little place. No one ever knows about it. People can go I heard there. It's a party. Yeah, we Dude, went out to a wedding oh, down there uh, I didn't know about that. like 10 years ago. Yeah. Kyle got married there. That was a first Yeah, black. you were there. That there was a go. fantastic time. That was a great, you saw, that was a great wedding. You saw Senator McCain? You saw him. I bet you he was there. If there was a wedding, yeah, he, was, he crashed. He was it. fucking throwing the beach ball around, man. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought he was tending bar. He was all over the place. He was that <laughs> man it can do anything. He, he's got every yeah, exactly. hat you can think of. He literally can. <laughs> He actually is the Even most after death. Dude, I heard he pulled his own secret service detail on himself. Like that's how amazing he is. Well, man. Whatever. I got to shut up. Siri off my freaking computer. It keeps interrupting me. Anyway, what else ah, are we talking so about here? Wide receivers. Wide receivers. All right. Fine. You want to talk John about receivers? McCain was a wide receiver, wasn't he? No, just kidding. Oh, real quick, I want to show the stat because Rich Rich gave this to me yesterday. Jalen Hurts. Was a top oh, 12 yeah. running back mm. and number 13 quarterback. Damn. This one's he amazing. Chose, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. He was the rated number 12 running back. <laughs> running back. Number yeah. 13 <laughs> wide receiver. Or no, number yeah. 13 quarterback. quarterback. Sorry. Number 13. But just, I just want to yeah, talk I mean, wide receiver. They keep saying it. 
Yeah. Why have you seen him though? Like it's so funny because uh there we, we were having that talk last week about how wide receivers are supposedly like the less injured and that's why people shift towards like oh they think they're the safer thing to have and then there was all these all these injuries today. It's it's amazing to me that people forget that I think uh wide receivers come up with hamstrings a lot more than running backs do. Turf they're toe. the guys who are and then turf toe, Fucking yes. Hate turf toe, man. <laughs> Like you had drift It's like just sit down and fucking stay out. Like don't sit out for one game, come back, and then go out in the half. It drives me fucking yeah. nuts. I mean, you're turf, about Julio no, Jones. <laughs> I, I assume it's when you your your I'm toes hit your cleats and like something happens to the front of your big your testicles to send it upwards. Turf toe? I didn't I know it was remember. called a turf, also, but that's new to me. Hmm. What is turf toe for real though? Like what the hell is that? I assume you it's bang I think your it's toe bad. against the ground. Yeah, I think it is just like that repeated thing. And it's almost yeah. like it's almost like bruised slash broken your big toe. Because mm. turf wear so bigger shoes. Wear bigger fucking... shoes. Put some yeah. padding in there. Let's yeah. go. Yeah. Hop to it. Yeah, <laughs> somewhere else, and let's go. Jesus. <laughs> I will say this for fantasy uh, draft strategy, whether it's snake or auction. I do think this year is you got to go pay for the wide receiver. <laughs> the top five wide receivers. Ooh. Or who are like Who? Justin Jefferson? If you and, get and one of those guys, and Jamar Chase. Yeah. Those are the two guys. Jamar Chase, yeah. Tyree Kill. Let's say anyone. Tyree. Tyree Kill. Yep. Mm -hmm. I mean, possibly oh, well. if you can pair him up Brown, and but that's that's not be receiver yes. combo that's going. Two, two. Would you say, Brad? I'm sir? I'm taking I'm taking Brad's uh uh Aaron Rodgers and um what's his name? Well, Aaron pay for him, sir. Yeah. Just let you know. Yeah, but that's gonna be a value buy. No, no, no. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm gonna distract <laughs> you when they come up, and I'm gonna be like, "Hey, Brad, would you like some popcorn?" And then, boom, I'll get him for like twenty-one dollars. No, I don't know why there's gonna be popcorn. That's, that's that. his game plan. I brought some <laughs> popcorn. That's a popcorn. You're really close to just taking out the core <laughs> for me. Yeah. Like, hey, what's that? I guess Ooh. you're auto drafting. <laughs> I, saw, I saw it done on a center. Oh, we're good. I know how it works. <laughs> I win the oh, league. he's just he's just tired. <laughs> Anyways, exactly. who's he's next? Just going to sleepies now. <laughs> so yeah, receiver. I'm interested in him too. Are you going to knock us both out? What the fuck? Oh man, I got to bring a lot of chloroform. <laughs> <laughs> Did you look at Zeke and his figure? I right. oh yeah, yeah you, you, you it sent it out. I didn't look at it yet. I got to look at Double it. XL. Double XL. Can you put it? My can you put it on the? Uh, oh damn. There he is. Oh, you want to put it on the screen? I forgot we can put things on the yeah, screen. Yeah, you can share screen. screen real you can. Quick. I wish my computer oh was the best. I would have done it. Let's oh, see. Snacking. Present. Yep. Ooh, present to us. Present it's and share class. screen. Here you it. I know this is taking. Oh, yeah. I'd also stay away from Dalvin Cook this year. What about Dalvin Cook? I stay away from him. No, I mean it, it's tough because there's Brees Hall Ooh, there too. Brees Hall, nice. man, and dude, Rogers, dude, come on, Rogers dude. loves to throw the ball. Dude, the He's Jets have a, the Jets have Michael Carter too, Brad. You remember that? Yeah, cat exactly. from last year, man. Oh my God, like that—that's the best running back room like ever. <laughs> like the Dalvin Jets. Cook, Brees Hall, and Michael Carter. It's insane. Okay, where's the video? Why is this not video? It's, it's, Brad, you sent us just a, a picture. It's not a video. It's just a photo. of Scroll His, down, uh, bro. You gotta oh, scroll down to the web page. Scroll down, bro. There's a video <laughs> you click play on. Oh, you have to Can't join the athletic. Uh -oh. We have to pay. Oh, oh, man. Man. oh forget Ooh. it. Brad, how'd you watch this? Brad, you're with the athletic? You pay for the Here. athletic? Yeah, dude. I, I have 15 you subscriptions. No, you don't. 50 cents a week? I should just sign up right now. Did Cancel any time. I pay 7 50 <laughs> a week. I get 15 times more information than you guys. You're absolutely oh. right. Jeez, man. You're full you of just, shit. You don't have a I'll give you a quarter of a. You might be like 14. You might be right, Rich. You might I'm going like to stop sharing because it's not doing anything. Here we go. Yeah, this, yeah, this is not good for I'm going to pull up on you. Right. <laughs> I can't oh, find it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Let's, yeah, go, let's go live next week. You guys want to live stream next week? Do it live. We'll do, do it live, live next week. Yeah. What do we got? You got Here it? Go. Play that clip right before we go. Let's see uh, screen Bill share. O'Reilly. Sorry, uh, this is my first time doing this. Yeah, we should play the Bill O'Reilly thing next too. <laughs> <laughs> is that showing? Is that showing now? 
it's uh, getting it's, there. Uh, it's, 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 it's doing its work. Yeah, it's it's trying. There hey, goes. there he is. There's Zeke. Maybe he has extra padding on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, adds yeah, he, yeah, he does. Yeah, he, he's, <laughs> he's got extra padding. It's a big bag of Doritos. <laughs> he's not holding in his shirt. in his helmet. <laughs> Is that what that is? Yeah. Look at that. Did you see him do that hobble trot? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> yeah, I, I did notice that. Yeah. Yeah, he, he's not moving quick. I don't know. He's, he's going to he's yeah. get in a football shape. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> did you see him? Right here, right here. Steps. Those, those are just some steps. Those are some steps. He looked a little tired afterwards. Look at him. Look at him do that now. Uh, that's why. <laughs> 28 okay, years we gotta, old. We gotta pull up more videos more often. It's kind of fun. Yeah, looks like a man. Fun. He does look like a man that will go yeah. get a touchdown. Though. When you're on the one yard line, that guy will go get a touchdown. He's plowing through you. You don't, a, you don't have a choice but to let him in. He's the new era yeah. Jerome Bettis man. That, that looked like Jerome Bettis to me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's really a knock. I don't like. Um, he's more like the minivan, not the that. bus. That's what scares me is because I've seen seasons where. Yeah, you know what? Now I'm kind of shifting on that Ramon J. Stevenson shit because I've seen seasons like Laguerre Blunt had like 18 touchdowns because it was just like you got it to the one yard line and Bell Bell took says, Let's go, plow it in. Yes. I mean, that was what Damien Harris got me value the year that I had him. Like it was like it's just a touchdown monster. And sometimes that's enough value. Yeah, you get two touchdowns. Fucking two touchdowns. That's your two yards and three touchdowns or whatever. Jerome Bettis yeah. used to have two, years, two yards, three yards, and three touchdowns. Yeah, on four carries. <laughs> well, let's go. Had a crazy. Was it Travis Kelsey or they had a crazy stat where they had so many touchdowns off of so little yards, like it was four touchdowns in like eleven yards or something. Oh yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That Kelsey season, had that game. Four. Yeah, yeah like three touchdowns. Yeah, yeah. Very, very little. I think, little you, you no, I think you had the four touchdowns, and it was like twenty-four yards. You had the overage yeah. on the yardage that game. You lost that. Bet. No, I didn't have it. No, I sorry. Oh, oh I remember else? that. It was yeah. It was like part of your big parlay. Yeah. Oh, oh, I think it was fifty something yards or sixty, and he got seventeen. <laughs> yeah, maybe four yeah. touchdowns. Four touchdowns. Yeah. And so they weren't even throwing to him anymore. Those parlays get you every time. That's what they want That's... you. I'm so a bet free establishment this year. I don't have any more a money. Free establishment. Yes. Listen, guys, don't gamble. Just buy listen. Coins. Listen. <laughs> bread, bread, buy Gamble with your friends and get burritos out of it if you win. There and you all go. You're out Ga burritos. Gamble burritos. Or, yeah, yeah. Bet for next oh, yeah. 10 or for the draft. 10 or 15 bucks versus 20 or 25 for uh, crap. Trevor Lawrence. Trevor Lawrence. Yeah. Trevor Lawrence. Uh, I happen. I happen to like. I, I think in our league because of like. I think that's situationally too. The things that you got to look at when you <laughs> be pre-draft and in a league year to year. How dare you? <laughs> that's fifteen thousand, I think. Yeah, exactly. yeah. That's a that's a fine. We, you're gonna you're gonna be fine working that off for your, yeah. <laughs> My apologies. Our league is is bet happy or not bet bid happy because, I mean, kickers go for seven, eight, nine bucks in our league, dude. That well, is that's because there's a couple are. people who will do it, and then we'll get them to spend their money on it. Yeah, so you no, put a kicker up early, and you get some guy to spend ten bucks, and you're like, "Fuck yeah!" yeah. <laughs> right? You just spent ten dollars on a kicker. Whoops. That could be a, a tactic, but um, long way. If I could do that oh. twelve times, man, I'd be happy. Justin, hmm. I was telling you, didn't Toby do that one year? He put up a kicker every round. Yeah, like five. Five yeah, straight kickers. Just to get people to five like straight bite. kickers at the beginning. People had to like bite and spend two dollars here or there. Even if they only spent two, he was still happy about it because they spent extra. Yeah, because to me, dollar. yeah, you should spend a dollar. Like even, but every dollar matters. To me, it's like there's times when I beat somebody out by a dollar, and they're like, "Oh man, I wish I would have had that." Like, yeah, I would say had that yeah. <laughs> they they spend that two bucks on Tucker. <laughs> Half the league hates. Uh, I think you kicks. can spend two bucks on Tucker. Yeah, I agree. No, no, if he can get sixty half. yards, you can he's justifiable it. at two dollars in, in a salary cap league. Yes, I agree. That's two dollars. That's it. We've had be, we've had people pay ten or something for a kick. I spent three yeah. on him last year. That was that was too much, but it was a pissing match, and I had to win. <laughs> and what player did remember? Wasn't there a player that got right at the end, and you were like, "No way!" Oh, it's yeah, I missed out by one buck. 
Yeah, D Hop. You couldn't get D Hop because oh, I had I had one extra book. I knew it. I was like, there was somebody that yeah. came up last year. Yeah, yeah. Oh, but I was saying, like in our league, you you can take like I have knowledge from last year. Okay, so Mark had Trevor Lawrence pretty much all year last year. So he's under the I think he's a little more under the radar when he's on someone's roster. And all he did was like kind of piss off Mark too. Like he had he had him and Justin Herbert. Herbert and he could never figure out who to start all year. So it's just frustrating, frustrating, frustrating. Then he drops him. I picked him up. He was on my roster at the end of last year. So nobody's I don't think anybody's like really super high on Trevor Lawrence or bought him. Like they a lot of people in our league too are like those type of guys who will be like, hey, I need a player who I know is going to perform well. So Trevor Lawrence is too new for them, I think. For them to Herbert say, oh, this is good value. I, I, I like Justin Herbert. Yeah. For 10 bucks? <laughs> why not? Well, I think he's going to be know. more. Yeah, he Herbert might be 15. got to go more for than, than Lawrence, right? Yeah, but in I would be surprised if they had the same your, numbers. I'd be surprised if they had the same numbers. I think Lawrence is going to chuck the ball for over 4,000 yards. So two high-end quarterbacks I'm interested in this year. There's only two that I would actually like pay for this year. And we know we've talked a lot about Lamar Jackson, and the other one is Justin Herbert. I think Justin Herbert, I think they're going to air it out this year, man. It's it's going to be sick. <laughs> it's like going to be so a, good. Like they did a couple years ago, right? Like two years ago, he he was uh, – Yeah, we had no like fans a lot a lot of passing just, yards a couple of years ago. I think he was throwing zero 5, people yards. in the stands. Just to let you know. That's right. That was, was the one COVID. thing I took away from him. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. That that might have something to do with it. Nah. Maybe not. I mean, he could have gotten over that hump, but that's I think the reason why he had such a harsh adjustment. Once plus he got building, wrecked. It was but loud. he got wrecked early on in the season last year. Like he had. He was injured. Yeah. He was yeah, playing he had ribs issue, I think, the whole yeah. year. Yeah. yeah, so he that's all the that's all the more reason I love him this year. Yeah, like the ribs thing is gone. That's all right. gone. He doesn't have to deal with it. And that. they improved their weapons. They got Quentin Johnston too, the new wide receiver. That's they have three just absolute stud wide receivers. Austin Eckler, their line is great. This is going to be a great offense. Kellen Moore is now there from the Cowboys. He comes over. He brings – he always wants – he wants to, like, air it out more, get more depth of yardage out of what he gets. But what does that create? When when your receivers are flushing out long range, that gives you all the underneath stuff for who? Oh, Austin Eckler. Okay, that's a pretty good weapon to have underneath. And then, like, they have a great running back room, too. I think they're going to take a little bit of the load off of Austin Eckler this year. Um, but I think he's still going to have the production because he's going to be that much more fresh and efficient. So I, I think Austin Eckler, although I'm not going to, like, run the risk because I don't want to just keep doing the same thing over and over again because I had Eckler last year. I had Christian McCaffrey. I think both those guys are the top of the running back rooms. Um, they're the best of the best. Um, I'm just not going to pay up for that this year. So, but if you're going to pay up and if you're going to do value, if you're if you're at the tippy top of your draft, those those are definitely guys to to look at. I, I think it comes down to those two running backs and Justin Jefferson, in my opinion, are the only like truly justifiable picks at number one this year. Which I don't think I I don't think you'd ever have gotten me to say a wide receiver at that figure uh, before. Dude, he's so dope. Yeah, yeah, he's so good, man. Ugh. Like but, dude, um, when you can have a guy that averages like eighteen to thirty points as a wide receiver, like holy fuck! Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's 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 unguardable, and they added a wide receiver. So to back him up, it's no longer like no offense to Adam Thielen, but Adam Thielen was in on the decline. They're bringing in Jordan Addison. He's getting old. Like, huh? Oh, Adam Thielen. Yeah, old. Thielen's old. I know he's the number one wide receiver quote unquote in Carolina this year. So it's like, oh okay, cool. Um I don't think so, but that's not good for Bryce Young, that's for sure, if that's his number one wide receiver. Yeah, rookies. I was thinking about them today. Anthony Richardson, man, you talked about him. That's the other guy. If I don't go high in this year, Brad, I think I'm gonna go you're gonna laugh at me, but I think the two guys I'd go if I'm not paying up, I'm gonna go Daniel Jones and Anthony Richardson. 
I was thinking about Daniel Jones and like as my backup. Cheap. Be a cheap yeah. guy, man. Russell, Steve not- Smith, Daniel Jones, they're all right there. I say steer clear of Russ, but but that's – I heard you earlier. I think – I don't know. Something's something's wrong there. He's he's still not right. I don't know if Russ and Sean Payton are going to jive very well either. They might, like, clash heads during the season. I just think that – I think the Denver Broncos thing is, like – it's not that it's definitely going to go that way, I, but I do think there is a chance that it goes, like, really negative in Denver this year. And do you think so, like, he just did, like, some hot yoga and it just went to his head? <laughs> And then, like sometimes, who he is sometimes now. you come out of there, man. Sometimes yeah. you come out of hot yoga, and you're just changed, man. <laughs> you go to a different fucking place, and then you're just like, oh, okay. Didn't I hear or something be like, that he's or... rich as hell, and uh, he's like, yeah, we'll see what happens. And then he just got paid again. Yeah. And everyone's talking shit. He's like, whatever, I'm paid. Doesn't care. Maybe he's not competitive anymore. Maybe he doesn't care as much. Who knows? Didn't I hear I mean, something like he had his own office or something last year? Right. Last year he had his own office. Like he got he that's got, ridiculous. I mean, the media is just saying this, that, and the other. Like, who knows what's true and what's not? Yeah. Um, he probably did have his own office, but he wasn't like, you know, staying. Because out. it's not that big of a thing. Like, actually, like from what I've heard, is like some some quarterbacks do have their own office, and that's because like they're there all the time. All like the they're literally you're, they're literally sitting there watching tape like all the time and like that's like that's like their place like they're there all the time so like Speaking of- more more room for shit because like they're there late into the night that kind of stuff like have you guys tape. seen the uh johnny man johnny mansell documentary i've heard tidbits of it so they, stuff, gave, oh, they gave him an ipad to watch film and they can track to see how much film he watched guess how much film he watched <laughs> 0. 0.0, 0. <laughs> minutes <laughs> Yeah. Ever and, watched. Um, that's, I don't film. Oh my god! <laughs> that's li- that things, is out of the building. Like he just never did anything out of the building. He didn't ever. do any. He just he just he did partied. Much coke. Yeah, that's not true. Yeah. <laughs> partied, partied a lot and yeah. uh, got paid. And I'm gonna watch that documentary. It sounds very interesting. There's a lot of these documentaries now. There's the one. Uh, do you hear about Blindside? Yeah, I, one I did. I didn't share that with you guys. Oh, I shared it with somebody else. Yeah, I did see that. Unbelievable, man. I was like, wow. Which one? Michael Orr. The yeah. Oh, he's saying he like he was actually adopt him. He never got any money and he was never adopted. <sighs> they it was they all, signed like, a they just like want to use them. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. yeah I, don't, they, I haven't like, read basically that. Basically, like, like, yeah. bills. That's fucked up. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of controversy actually now. Now they're slinging mud, and saying some, you know, defending themselves, and uh, it's kind of like a whole drama fest now. But the initial story was like shocking. My mouth dropped. I was like, "Are you serious?" Mm-hmm. Like they, yeah, it worked. Did that land probably blew up. And uh, yeah, what was I the that... documentary you were going to tell us about? Me, Matt? Yeah, which one? Yeah. Were you gonna tell? Yeah, there's one about QBs, right? And that has Mahomes. Oh, quarterback. And, yeah. Oh, quarterbacks. Uh, who else? Um, Mariota and Kirk Cousins. Cousins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then there's the and then there's the Hard Knocks, and then now there's this other one that you're talking about, yeah. the Johnny Football one. There's a lot of. Uh, By the way, the Hard Knocks that's already better than last season's. Just saying. Uh, I like I did I see some clips and I saw like yeah. the coach Robert Sala seems like a really good coach in my opinion. And the, and the uh, scene that uh, was heard heard around the world the uh, the handshake, <laughs> the handshake. That, that, the, now the the tricky little band. handshake <laughs> the, the handshake that is banned. If you guys have not seen it, just Google Aaron Rodgers handshake hard knocks or something. I'm him and you, uh, I have doted on him for like. Two three years straight, yeah. totally forgiven. He's a good dude. Totally forgiven. Just then, I like him. I like him now. He's, He's organic badass. football podcast approved. Is that what you're I, saying? Brett has and to recant. Made, and he makes fun of himself too. Yeah, he I recant. He's a cool dude. Hilarious. Yeah. I think he took it a little too far sometimes, but you know, it yeah. happens. He's a human yeah. being. He's some just people do with everyone, dude, man. Smoke some weed, man. I like oh. you. That's a nice hat, Matt. I didn't really see it until just now. Oh yeah, go past oh, shiny. Oh yeah. Dope. That was the hat I wore all last year to all the home games. It's only, only did you time wear it I to wore this it. one. I the did preseason game. Okay, I did. <laughs> what's the What's know, your man. hat's record? 
<laughs> don't don't count the preseason game. That one doesn't count. count. Yeah. Right. You know that what? Does I, not I say it counts. I say it counts. <laughs> well, it was a go. good feeling. That's man. not a that's not a real win. I know it felt good, but it's not a real win. You know what? It felt right, and I'm I'm taking it. I'm taking it. It's a. It was a Are you because she held your hand? Does it mean she's your girlfriend? <laughs> yeah. She you could be playing with your emotions. That's yeah. for sure. Uh, are you going? <laughs> are you going to the Kansas City game this weekend? No, it's my wife's uh, birthday. We'll be at a we'll be oh, celebrating right. her birthday doing a resort. Uh, how many do like that? So surprise her. Uh, I yeah, can't Brad, 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 said, Brad had a great idea. Like happy Brad birthday! Said, Mind Mind open this. your eyes now. Get her on the kiss <laughs> cam. Blindfold. It'll be unforgettable. <laughs> Blindfold uh, all the way to the game. I think it would be and, unforgettable, and just not in the way you think. <laughs> not in the positive <laughs> manner. Oh, my God. oh man. Brad but said yeah. it was a great idea. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can even you paint your face without her knowing. Paint exactly. <laughs> your face. I'd love to see Matt with a painted face. Can't paint him yeah. up like a cardinal. <laughs> yeah. I saw one dude dip his face in a. You know how uh, you spray paint paint in water and then you dip stuff in it? Yeah, yeah. I saw this dude. It was a football game, and he had all the colors, and he dipped his head in it, and it looked really cool. But yeah, there's but no way I'm doing that. <laughs> I was like, Monday? you're going to go blind. Yeah, you're going to go work? <laughs> you're going to work on Monday? Like, what would you do this weekend? Yeah, uh, it's you know, things happened. A little over the top. Yeah. So Just Matt's not going to the days. game. So did you get rid of your tickets or what? Yeah, I gave him my nephew. Nice, good man. I want. I would like to make it out to one, at least one game this year. Let's do it. Uh, we should all yeah. go. Last oh, year yeah. was cool. We saw right Philly now. last year, right? Oh yeah, that's right. I met you up. That was, a good, that was a good game. Should have yeah. won, but Philly. you know. Well, yeah, we had. A, we were in that game. That was a yeah, good we game had. for us. That was a good game. Yeah. Too many yeah. damn Philly fans, though. But yeah, we should we should pick a a weekend that works for or a week that works for everybody and go to that game yeah let's do it and, uh, and brad noel's, go to noel's every pretty game much night. not going noel's noel's kind of tapped so she's she said she'll go to one when the weather cools down it's so, okay. it, is a, it is a commitment it's a long day yeah. it's like a good yeah. six hour day seven hour day it's an ordeal yeah, yeah. you go yeah. a little bit early so you can get in there exactly do a little pre-game there's only eight what eight eight or nine home games so yeah, like going to basketball, there. baseball, that shit's easy. You just roll in. It's half empty yeah. anyways. Easy to easy I'll to park. And, yeah, I guess. Yeah, basketball's pretty Basketball's bad. cranking. Baseball, you could just roll up. <laughs> oh, yep. You could, just, you could just park your vehicle like right up in front of Chase. Yeah. <laughs> right next to the manager's car. You're like, all right. <laughs> I don't even know who the manager is. I think it's like three bucks. Exactly. <laughs> who cares if you don't Standing go? room only, $5. <laughs> not only three standing to get in. I got a haircut the other day and got five free Dimebacks tickets. <laughs> what? <laughs> You're kidding. No, Did kidding. you really? <laughs> I believe That's it. Good, Those sponsorship packages are nuts. They can't give them away. Exactly. exactly. That's what I'm saying, dude. <laughs> they probably need to get yeah, people in the building. No one fucking know. cares. Yeah. yeah. This is two episodes in a row we've talked baseball now. Well, that's oh, fine. Mentioned. The last baseball oh, game I went fine. to was a spring training game, and I didn't look at the field once. Where were we looking? Oh, wow. Uh, I had my back <laughs> to the field. I was at a table, and my back what was to the you? field. The other people at the table uh, and my oh, beverage. Gotcha. Yeah. I, I was like, oh, I guess there's a baseball game going on behind me. Uh, that's cool. Yeah. Man, uh, that's I always bring a glove. <laughs> yeah, I, I, never glove. Brought, I bring a helmet. <laughs> Because you never watch. You yeah, in case you hit me in the head, you know. Like, That's actually yeah. pretty smart. <laughs> yeah, you should wear a helmet if you're not going to watch the game. <laughs> <laughs> Ball's coming. Boom. No fucking idea. Right in the head. Look, that guy's smart. <laughs> and he makes baseball. <laughs> and he um, could care less about baseball. <laughs> he's here for the Bud Light. Oh, jeez. Oh, shit. Anything All else right. you guys want to on or what? Oh, I think we're at a good time right now. Yeah. Getting there. Yeah. Any, any what else do we have? Uh, what about uh, Clayton Tunes? 
Dude, let's just talk tight ends real quick. Tight ends? Oh, tight ends. Oh, tight yeah, ends. Go for it. What do you want to talk? Dude, there's like only a few out there, man. Who's even good? You got to go get one of them. Who? Who's good? Well, obviously Kelsey. Guarantee, but yeah, the guy yeah. I'm going for is your Mr. Daniel Jones guy, Darren Waller. Darren Waller? Yeah. Mm. Darren mm. Waller is going to be Giants. nice. He, yeah. he is the pick for tight ends this year, value-wise. Yeah. Yeah. It's funny, though. Like, um, still Dallas Scotter is down on some lists. I think he's still Dude, sitting no, he's, he's always good. Zach Ertz is going to be good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, he's serviceable. If you can't go get a good guy, go get – He's one of the serviceable ones. Yeah. There is that range. Is Max Williams comes? TJ, Max after TJ Oxen. Uh, no, they ha- they have the young guy. They have uh, Trey McBride, and actually they got uh, the guy from Dallas. I've seen a little bit out of him, uh, Jeff Swain. So oh. it, it's it's him and the rookie pretty much, I think. But J- Jeff Swain did look pretty good, actually. He made a couple plays. So. What about Wait, Mark? Two. Mark Andrews is on the top three. Oh, yeah, Mark yeah, Andrews is always a and Kittle. He's, he's Mr. Reliable, Kittle, man. Number one. Yeah, I'd say Kelsey Kittle. Andrews Waller. Kittle Waller. Kittle, Waller. I think, Waller's four. I think it's Goddard. Um, I think Goddard's fourth. I think Goddard's fourth, Goddard's in my opinion, for Royal Finish. And then, um, yeah, I probably Kittle's want TJ yeah. Hawkinson after that. You I guys know, are, I mean, you're right. Nice. Yeah, Hawkinson Kittle. six. Kittle's going to overall get you production, but I just don't know what week it's going to hit because there's just so many weapons. He's such a great blocker. Sometimes they're like, just block today. He's like, cool. And he's fucking excited. He's never like, dude, throw me the ball. He's like, I fucking smashed that guy. I had a great game. He's one of those guys that's always jazzed up no matter what. Yeah. He's a wild man. He's, yeah. he's a true NFL player, man. He's, yeah, he's, he's cool. He's got that grit, man. He, he he loves to go out there and pancake people and block He's got that dog that's- in him. I always yeah. said that was Mark's welcome. spirit animal. If Mark played football, <laughs> yeah, he'd be George Mark, Kittle. Mark, our, our former yeah. host, yeah. yeah, he'd be George Kittle. That's good. <laughs> the hair, oh, right? Shit. Long hair. Yeah. yeah, the long hair. Yeah, yeah mm-hmm. just tat him up, dude, make him crazy and headbutt shit. I can see him. <laughs> That'd be cool. I bet you George yeah. Kittle plays guitar. You think you can so? See George Kittle smashing a guitar over somebody's head. Yeah, but, yeah. exactly. <laughs> That's playing to some degree. Yeah, he held it. It counts. You know who's a under? Uh, nobody's talking about. I mean, they're talking about him, but I don't think anybody trusts it yet. But I think you get to get the Detroit Lions guy, uh, the rookie. Oh, yeah. Oh, Sam okay. Sam Lep- Sam Laporte. That's the rookie that they drafted to replace him. Like and. Rookie tight ends, like they've never had success. Like there's never been, I don't think it's something like top eight, top nine uh, rookie tight end uh, when it comes to fantasy football. So um, it's tough to say that a rookie's going to do it, but I think the role that he has, I think he's going to step right into that TJ Hawkinson role and he's going to be the release valve off of uh, St. Brown. So I think that's, that's going to be, that's going to be pretty nice. I, mean, I, I think if, if you're off of that frontier, I think, if you gotta go get two, probably and get like a who was that guy in that. Denver? Peyton Manning's guy. He wants to get Thomas. Oh, it's not him. oh uh, Julius Thomas. Julius Thomas. Thank you. Julius. He was, was he a rookie. End. He was a rookie of the year you you got him the year that and he was only that, eight. Uh, he was what? He was only in the top eight. I thought he finished top three or five that year. As far as I know, I mean that's that's a stat yeah. I've looked up. No, no, I believe it. That's just crazy. I thought yeah. he had such a great season. He probably got injured. I, I, mean, but I just don't remember. Yeah, maybe something like that. But yeah, like that would be the the outlier probably out of yeah. all of it. So, um, Orange Julius, man, I love that guy. Yeah, he drafted him like fucking. Everybody was like, "What is that?" <laughs> You're like, no, <laughs> no I went. Did you pick him up on waivers? Yeah, that's yeah. I dropped. I dropped uh, someone good. For him, and people are like, "What the fuck are you doing? What are you doing for this guy?" And then the week one, he just blew up. He had a great week. Maybe that's what it was. I think Julius Thomas wasn't a rookie that year. I think yeah, I think it was the second year. I think it was a set. He was a second year guy. I'm just now remembering. This. Yes, I think he was a second year guy. 
and you're like, no, dude, I heard about like he, him and Peyton Manning are just having like this crazy camp together. I'm not going to get it. Balls <laughs> caught by any receiver, and he was a tight end. <laughs> yeah. And you remember Dallas Clark back in Indy? Like, dude, that was a no, no brainer right there. Yes, yeah, sir. All right. I'll call it there. Yeah. yeah. Right, at, right at an hour. It was pretty fucking Nothing good. like finishing on a little Orange Julius, you know, make the day oh. right. Dude, an orange Julia sounds so fucking good right now. <laughs> I would totally crush an orange Julius. <laughs> Who makes those anymore? Dairy Queen. Dairy, they the Dairy Queens. I think it's I like at the mall. Juice store around here in like the old uh, Jamba Juice or whatever. Dude, Dairy oh. Queen's the shit. Highly recommend it. Wow, man. But aren't they ice cream and all that? Like they actually do a good orange Julius. I've never tried it, but I see people. It's full. It's, oh. it's full on orange Julius. It's like yeah. exactly okay. the the thing of it. Yeah. It looks frothy. Like, it looks fucking good. So they don't all have it though. Like it's certain ones that have uh, orange Julius. You have to make sure they have it. Yeah, we're high class out here in Gilbert. So uh, calling it, calling in. Oh, geez. Yeah, my, yeah. Our, our Dairy Queen's it's from like, like the seventies. Looks. You really, really did. Though. You really did. <laughs> you really did it. He sighed. Dude, I never thought I'd be an East Side guy. I fucking love it out here. You're you're it's, an East Sider, that's for People sure. People do bro. convert when they make the the trek out there. It, it, it is nice out there. It's the punch. It's it, you just have to live out there to really feel it. The food's way better out there, FYI. Like they got all the food's types better. of food. Dude, they got the everything. Not Asian, not the, well, Korean. Not the, you can go all downtown and get better food. I know, but there are some. I'm gonna, I'm gonna next week. I have to look them up. I can't remember what they're called. But I know there's good the restaurants story? out there. Dude. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I would really say downtown better. Really, downtown's yeah. better. Yes, that's all I'm saying. There's a. I mean, there's uh, just such a I'm small gonna do a slideshow next week of, like, comparing the two okay, cities. Okay, yeah. okay, yeah. Let's let's bring our top <laughs> ten restaurants from each city next so week. Wide. Okay, let's do that. <laughs> I'm yeah, getting a Chick Fil A here, me, and I'm really I'll excited. I'll tell you my top five from Phoenix downtown area. You guys tell me your top five from the east. If I was I going to know. like Paradise Valley, I'd probably say the Chipotle there on Cactus and. No, he doesn't have any <laughs> good. <laughs> I would say Frank Lloyd Wright and Thompson Peak. You know, if I was down in Arcadia, I, I'd probably be Thirty Second Street and Thomas. <laughs> Dude, I'm but, I'm talking about like mom and pop hole in the walls you go to scottsdale everything's new and like chained out and expensive but like yeah. i'm talking the old school uh restaurants like single single suite good food whether it's pizza or whatever now i'm starving i gotta go yeah eat. dude there's this place vito's by us they make pizza any yeah. the way you want i get my alfredo sauce and pepperoni every time Ooh. and what a great name for a pizza place vito's they got one in Scottsdale. Really good food. Old Town? No. It's okay. up by like Pima. Fine. Speaking of Scottsdale, I just one just popped in my head. DeFalco's. It's an Italian place. And they make fantastic subs. And it's like a market. You can buy Italian market stuff. And uh it sounds like I was there last fucking week. read, man. It was it was beautiful. No, no, no. Should, DeFalco's, should call them, man. I know, right? <laughs> Well, if I believe in we, a product, let's give him that clip because you sound <laughs> we like hit a, a, we amazing. Should, we should hit a, <laughs> hot, cold. Let's talk about your way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but that, that is good. Man. If you guys haven't been to Defalco's, it's it's damn good. But right, anywho, yeah. good mm -hmm. times. Thanks for uh, right. thanks for joining us, everybody. Thanks for being a part of this. Yes, go, go subscribe for, if yeah. you want to keep being a part of it. Yeah, Just tell subscribe, subscribe and follow us find us on youtube now you'll see uh what we look like see some faces yeah <laughs> later see peace. you next week bye bye, bye. that's the last straw